what is going on guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new video now in this tutorial guys we're going to actually compare vegas pro 19 versus premiere pro because of course a couple weeks ago vegas pro 19 has finally released and also i want to check out what is different between the two softwares what can vegas do that premiere cannot do and the other way around because in the past i've actually done a lot of these videos about comparing vegas pro to you know the new version of premiere pro and all that so in this video i would actually thought it was a very nice idea to see the differences between these two softwares because of course different developers different platforms and all of that is what we're going to cover in today's video so if you guys are excited for this video make sure to hit the like button down below also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos where we're going to compare different kind of softwares to each other so with that being said let's go ahead and get started right after the intro Alright guys, so Vegas Pro 19 has also released with a, a lot of new features. It is getting very, very close to Premiere Pro. But of course guys, we're going to also cover the After Effects version against Vegas Pro 19 as well. So as you notice right here, we are on the website where it says Sony Vegas Pro. Of course, it is not Sony for years anymore. People always tend to like to refer to Sony when it comes to Vegas Pro, but it's actually just Vegas Pro 19. Versions Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, CC, Elements. So the first couple topics that I want to point out is that Vegas Pro also now has the adjustment tracks that you can use. Vegas Pro 19 has also text-to-speed features. They also have like stock clips when it comes to like inserting kind of stock images and all that. It's really, really nice and they actually get a lot more advanced each version comes out. So right here it says, it is a well-known fact that consumers prefer to watch a two or three minute video about a product information or service rather than read a lengthy page of text about it as it helps them to make more confident purchasing decisions. Research has shown that people spend two minutes more on average on a page containing videos. Online videos have already risen to a whopping 95% of all consumers traffic in 2020. This basically means that you guys are preferring to watch a video, for example, just like this one, like what is kind of different between Vegas Pro and Premiere Pro, instead of just reading for, let's say, 30 minutes on a page, you know, about all the differences. So we're gonna actually combine these two. We were gonna, in this video, we're going to talk about the page that I'm on right now that also down in the description where you guys can check out what we're exactly reading because it's actually a lot a lot more complex than you might think it is because it is not really the same as like Vegas Pro 13 or something like that they have so many new features that also the improvements the UI and everything like that as well included so right here we have the feature list of Vegas Pro just a couple because of course if you're gonna name every single feature this list would be way way too long so right here it says Vegas Pro boasts of multi-camera editing user-friendly interface and workflow, motion tracking, scripting technology, 360 video editing, integration with 24p DV, pro type titling technology, an affordable price, availability only for Windows. Right here we have Adobe Premiere Pro, clean and simple interface, opening multiple projects simultaneously, supports additional native video file formats, impressive virtual reality, smoother and integrated workflow, produces high definition and broadcast quality videos, VR audio editing, periodic updates with new technologies, provides support for Lumetri, available for Windows and Mac as well guys, because I actually want to point out that Vegas Pro is not available for MacBooks. I have actually a MacBook Pro 2020, or 2021 but Vegas Pro cannot run on that or you have to use like a virtual machine to put Windows onto your Mac and then run Vegas Pro on your Windows version on your MacBook but it is not directly downloadable for a Mac version. So right here the price factor is actually very very important because both softwares right now also have like a monthly subscription. If you want to get Premiere Pro I think it's going to cost me around 24 euros a month while it's compared to Vegas Pro they also have a subscription for about 19 dollars a month so that's actually pretty close to each other and really really affordable if you look at like how it was in the past if you had to spend like maybe a thousand or twelve hundred euros on this software of course it is actually a lifetime license if you see it that way but it's just a lot of lot of money up front right here we have although there are some good features in Adobe Premiere Pro elements it costs much more than Sony Vegas or Vegas Pro the latter costs in a one-off price of $199 whereas the former cost of $20.99 per month 
This gives Sony a slight advantage over its rival. Of course, Sony, they probably mean Magix, but I think this page hasn't been updated for a while, even though it says Vegas Pro 19 at the top, but obviously Mac users have no choice apart from Adobe Premiere Pro elements. All right, guys, so right here we have additionally, Sony or Magix is more user-friendly as compared to the software by Adobe. If you are looking for an easy to learn video editing program, look no further than Vegas Pro. That's actually completely true, guys. I don't really actually see a reason to learn like Premiere Pro completely because Vegas Pro does everything that I need when it comes to color grading, audio editing, different angles, you know, text, titles, transitions, everything you can imagine for my content specifically. Vegas Pro does the job quite well. If I would do stuff 10 times more advanced, I would actually have to integrate Premiere Pro at some point, but I think for this one and for the more basic videos as well, Vegas Pro does actually a really, really nice job. Vegas Pro versus Adobe Premiere Pro render speed. Although you should have a computer with a minimum of 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and the latest processor to get the best out of movie editing programs, not all programs render a movie at the same time and speed. Now that's actually very true guys, but the handy thing is that in both softwares, you can choose if you want to render over your CPU, how much RAM do you want to use? If you have 64 gigabytes available, you can choose I want to use up to 32, the half of it, or even more or even less just depending on how your system reacts to it and it's really nice that you can just customize it and just test around with both software to see which one renders the fastest i tested a 90 minute video edited it in a bit and started rendering it for final output renders adobe premiere pro beats vegas pro slightly however rendering alone is not the only aspect one should examine when deciding between vegas pro or premiere pro one needs to consider the entire editing process along with the rendering i mean to say that one should check the entire time taken to complete a project using special effects and editing soundtracks too. The multi-camera input is also included right here. Those who plan to use multiple cameras for input should also opt for a Vegas Pro as it is ahead of Adobe Premiere Pro in handling such types of editing. So that's actually very, very nice, guys. Both softwares are really, really handy in editing multi-cam videos. So let's say that you are editing a TV show or something like that with multiple different cameras. You can just go ahead and switch back between them real, really easy. Or if you're editing, like, let's say that you made a cover for a song and you have multiple angles from different sides of the room, it's really, really handy. And actually, when I used to make drum videos, I think back in 2011, I actually also used multiple different angles. And it was very, very easy back, I think, in Sony Vegas Pro 11 to edit that. So both softwares work really, really well for that as well. The differences is something that we have talked about, but right here, we also have what they have in common. So we have the multi-camera angles, we have subtitles, speed change, high density, chroma keying, drag and drop, direct capture from camcorder, color correction and audio transitions. Now, of course, guys, for this section, I would actually wait or just not really go into too much detail because is Vegas Pro better than Premiere Pro? I don't really think that you can take that advice from an article online. I think that's really, really personal experience. Like, is it a lot easier for you to use Vegas Pro or is it just a lot easier for you to use Premiere Pro? Are you more used to the interface of Vegas or is it Premiere? Because of course, I actually am familiar with Premiere Pro, but when it comes to like more advanced stuff, like using velocity, because my knowledge isn't really that far as it comes to Vegas Pro, because I've been using Vegas Pro for almost 11 years and that just explains how familiar I am with it. I know every single place where I need to be when I open up my project while in Premiere Pro is actually like just a di little bit of a different world. I know the basics and I know how to edit but if there is some effect I need a 9 out of 10 I always have to look up a tutorial about how to get there so that's just something that you have to do for yourself. It's personal experience. Do you prefer to use Vegas Pro or are your project that advanced that Vegas Pro cannot handle it and that you have to do like all kinds of like 3D motion tracking when it comes to like After Effects that just cannot be done in Vegas Pro. Maybe of course in future versions because every year Vegas Pro also updates and they get way way closer to After Effects as well but of course it just it just depends on personal experience whether you think Vegas Pro is better than Premiere Pro. A lot of people have been asking as well like when I'm going to make like Premiere Pro tutorials and all of these you know different types of videos outside of Vegas and if you guys are wondering guys I actually made some videos about Premiere Pro as well and After Effects they're quite old but I think these videos are kind of like the same as Vegas Pro no matter if I uploaded them a year ago or six years ago it's still timeless. The software of course 
course updates, but nothing really changes. Everything that you do in Vegas Pro 13 years ago works exactly the same in Vegas Pro 19 today. That's really, really cool that they don't change up too much every single, you know, release. Of course, they upload like stability and all that, but when it comes to like you, how to use text, like all these certain render settings, nine out of 10, they either work the same or the settings are transferred into your new version. And that's really, really cool. And that's what I really like about Vegas Pro as well, that I just don't see the need to switch to Premiere Pro because Vegas Pro does everything that I require from a software. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are on the Magix website. The link is also down in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out after the video. So if you scroll all the way down right here, we will have our buying options. So right here we have Vegas Pro 19 video and audio for professionals it includes Vegas Pro 19, Vegas Stream, Sound of Forge, Audio Studio and the Boris FX Primate Studio. Exclusive in the description is mobile to timeline, royalty free stock content, unlimited HD and a text to speech. That is something that I also covered in the video from last Wednesday. If you want to use the text to speech feature, you actually need to get the Vegas 365 subscription instead of the regular one. So right here at the bottom, we have Vegas Pro 365, which is $19.99 a month. And you can also choose if you want to have that billed annually for 12 months. But if you're gonna bill it for one month only, it's a little bit more expensive. But if you just want to do that annually build for 12 months, it is a lot more cheaper. So I would just recommend picking up that one as well. All right, guys. So if you don't want to get the copy of, you know, Vegas 365, you can just click on new purchase right here. And then Vegas Pro is suitable and available for $399. And also right here for a Vegas post, which is including Vegas image as well. And you know, all these softwares, they actually have it a little bit more expensive. It is $599, but you get a lot more because Vegas Pro image is also just like some sort of like a Photoshop from Magix, which is really, really nice. You can just drag and drop your screenshots from Vegas Pro right into Vegas image. And that's really, really nice that you can do it. So right here we have have all the options if you have been like bought Vegas Pro 18 if you want to upgrade to 19 you can just click on upgrade and that's only gonna cost you 199 for so many new features guys the stability is incredible and it is really really worth upgrading the link is down below all right guys so right now we are on the premiere website actually so now that we have covered Vegas Pro I thought it would be a good idea to also go to the side of Adobe to see how you know Premiere Pro works so right here we of course have the Premiere Pro logo it says buy now and then right here 9 out of 10 I'm guessing that you cannot buy this for like a lifetime subscription so just like I've guessed right here Premiere Pro is 24 euros a month I think that's a little over 24 and I think in dollars I think it's maybe 26 or 27 bucks but of course if you want to buy this for your company you can always buy this VAT free or you can just use the invoice to own your tax bill as well and of course we have Premiere Rush for mobile as well we have After Effects we have Adobe Spark Audition Animate and we have all the apps as well like one two three four five six apps all together for only just 60.49 for me it's euros but if it's way more affordable because if you're gonna get all of these six ones separately even with like you know these two and also just Premiere Rush let's say that you want to get Audition Premiere Pro and Premiere Rush together that's also even just more than 60 while you're not even having After Effects animate and spark with it so that's really really affordable if you want to get all the apps just get the bundle right here but if you only want to get Premiere Pro right here we have our licenses to get it monthly as well all right guys so right here we also have for businesses we have all the apps for 70 euros a month and then a single app for 29 euros a month we also have students and teachers which is of course in 1966 it's a little bit more cheaper and then right here for schools and universities if you're a teacher in video editing and you need let's say like 30 licenses for 30 different computers in your classroom right here you can just have all the pre-named user license or per shared device license which is just 330 euros per year. All right, guys, so as you clearly can see right now, Vegas Pro is actually a lot more similar to Premiere Pro when it comes to these new features being added. You guys, of course, can read all about it on the website that we have covered today as well. The link is down in the description. If you guys wanna check it out, if you wanna pick up Vegas Pro, the link is down in the description. If you wanna also pick up the Premiere Pro, the link is down below as well, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Vegas Pro 19 versus Premiere Pro, and that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.